Welcome back. In this next video, we're going to start by publishing a frame. So for those of you that are already using Top Solid Mold, uh, you already know what publishings are about. For everybody else, a publishing is just a simple way to carry an item forward into the next inclusion when dealing with Top Solid assemblies. One of the things that Top Solid does really, really well is manages information and the information that is carried forward. We use publishings as a way to make allow the user, I should say, to be able to specifically carry forward just the items they want. We always carry forward the representation, for example, but in some cases, we need to carry forward more. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm about to create a new frame. A frame is a coordinate system. That frame is going to be on the right side of the block here because this is inevitably going to be a two-cavity mold. Like that, my frame is created. The last thing I'm going to do is right-click on it and publish that frame. And I'll call it Mold zero, why not? Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. From here, we're going to go ahead and include this into a mold file. I'm just going to use a blank template for right now. When I do this, the software automatically positions the part in there, or I should say the, the little sub-assembly in there. I'm going to start by editing the positioning, and I'm going to go to frame on frame, and I'm going to choose this frame here, and put it on our absolute frame there. Perfect. Go ahead and validate the positioning. At this point, you've now included the imported core and cavity block, subinsert, and part with shrink into the top solid mold document. In the next video, we'll make a multi cavity.